So hello there and welcome to one of the most important phones of all time. The Samsung C260. At first glance is nothing special. It's just a mid-ranger um, clamshell phone from the mid-2000s. But this sold in enough numbers and gave enough people the sense and, well, reasoning for mobility as any other important phone. So in some ways it's, uh, well, it's responsible for Samsung's uh, uh, accomplishments in today's market. But before we get on any further, let's switch on to the table view and see what this thing is all about. So the Samsung C260 uh, <laughs> is not really that impressive in terms of specs. Let me just... Yeah, I don't know if any of you resonate with that tune or if it brings you back, but really I wasn't uh, experienced with this phone, though I know it was uh, very important for some of uh, its users. Uh, it gave cheap and dependable mobility, which is something really worth appreciating from Samsung. Now, in terms of hardware, it's not that much going on right here. It has a UFB type display, whatever that is, a 65,000 uh, color display. Uh, it's a tiny display, it only measures 1.5 inches in the diagonal and it offers a 128 by 128 pixels with a 1.1 ratio, so a 121 pixel per inch density. It has an internal memory of 600 kilobytes, that's not megabytes, but kilobytes and uh, it doesn't offer anything. It doesn't have a memory card slot, it doesn't have radio, it doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter jack, it only has a loudspeaker and I guess vibration with downloadable polyphonic ringtones. It doesn't have Bluetooth, it doesn't have Wi-Fi, it doesn't really offer anything. But what it did offer was great uh, mobility and great hardware quality for the price. It's of course plastic fantastic all the way and some of the... Mm, there were little uh, pieces of rubberized plastic around the top to make it... Uh, um, to cushion the, the closing mechanism. But they are also right now grimy and really uh, nasty looking because they leave marks on your hand. Uh, plastic tends, uh, rubberized uh, stuff like that tends to uh, disintegrate over time. So I don't know what you're able to see here but the screen is nice and bright, maybe a bit too bright for this camera. So let me just try to reduce the uh, exposure and get it to you know, to show a bit more detail and maybe just zoom in just a little bit to show you what's going on. Okay, there we go. So, not much going on. Let's check out the menu and uh, see what we're working here. Everything is in Romanian. There's a telephone phone agenda, there's uh, some settings, some planning. Uh, of course, the keyboard is a classic uh, T9 type of keyboard, no QWERTY here and no um, additional options to be had. The D-pad and the button cluster here is a bit crowded for my taste and that's one of the reasons why I didn't really um, take to Samsung phones back then. I wasn't a fan of Samsung phones as opposed to now where I'm always finding myself into the, to a new uh, Samsung flagship even if it's an older one. Check out the reviews right here. But uh, really there's not much else to show to this phone so let's just turn it off and 
see what's it like uh, inside because this is one of those phones you could still open let me just adjust the exposure a bit and there we go and here it is the inside of the phone the battery um, and the well the sim tray and uh, information about the the production and the phone itself you can read into this more if you so desire so there we go not much else going on as I've said the battery is uh, let's see what the battery is So it's a lithium ion 750 milliamp hour battery and this thing is great. I, my wife actually had this phone for a couple of years before uh, getting some uh, interesting Nokia's like the 6230i back in the day. So this was just an in between an intermediary phone, nothing much, nothing spectacular, though excellent build quality. Just as a, a mention, after more than 10 years of not using this thing, I just put it up for charging and it went just like that. So really, hands up to Samsung. They knew how to make batteries, at least back then, anyway. <laughs> but um, enough with the smart, uh, smart remarks. Um, let's draw some conclusions about this phone. So, the Samsung C260, was it an important phone? Yes, it was. Uh, does it deserve a place in the Hall of Fame of the all-time greats, all-time great GSM phones? Well, I don't know. On paper, yes, it should have, because this thing so sold by the bucket load. Well, this thing was responsible for uh, putting uh, communication and mobility in the pockets of the everyday user. Is it a great phone? Not really. It's not great to look at. It's not really impressive in any um, aspect point or whatever you want to call it. So, by that regard, yes, it's an interesting market study and a piece of history, but I don't think it's worth collecting, nor do I think it will gather up any value. I just wanted to show you a run-of-the-mill phone, a basic one of that from 2007. And as always, remember, I buy, collect and hoard useless, obsolete tech stuff like this one, so you don't have to. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.